So as a young community organizer, it's important for me to have peers speak their opinions. And no, that is not me simply sharing an article on Facebook, but being able to eloquently challenge someone in an educational discussion because a bunch of fuck yous don't mean shit. To say that one opinion is wrong or right, then the other is impossible, but it's important to see the perspective of another person. But when their opinions are a question of morality, do not come from my community. As a young woman, I refuse to let myself and my sisters be sexualized and objectified. Do not tell me to smile and do not dare to grab me because boy, you're gonna catch these hands. Do not think that a bigot like Donald Trump justifies your verbal abuse and physical harassment to communities of color. This man was able to create one of the most controversial elections. He was able to split the country in half in opinions. His morality is put into question with the words he spits towards people of, cos people of color, the Muslim and LGBT community, the while he speaks about our young daughters, sisters, and mothers. During a time like this, change is possible. Do not be discouraged because something has been put into action. With action, there comes a reaction, and your reactions are appropriate. We're angry and we're upset. You're disappointed and confused, but do not let that discourage you, discourage us. This term will be filled with turmoil and moments of hopelessness. You will ask yourself the question as to why am I fighting or who am I fighting for? You will tell yourself that there, that there is not going to be any change, but it's, there, but it's there and it's never an appropriate time to give up. Our country was built on racist beginnings from the day Columbus arrived and led a mass genocide to the Native American community. To the forced slavery that built America. Do not let words or prejudiced actions deter you from the strength and capability you have. Because despite how America was founded, we thrive in resiliency. We were resilient during the civil rights movement and we are resilient during our time of gentrification crisis. Look around you. This is our family, our community, and our crutch. Remember to live life, never lose hope and faith, and to stand in solidarity. To end it off in the words of Malcolm X, if you are not ready to die for it, take the word of freedom out of your vocabulary. Because what do we do when communities of color are under attack? We're gonna fight back! What do we do? Yeah.